In this video, we're going to be talking about God-like focus, what I call God mode. I think it's the idea and protocol that everyone should have, if, at least if they want to win. And I'm going to be talking about what I do, what many successful other entrepreneurs have done. There's tons of different versions. Forget all the fucking like bullshit, the funny names, the fluff. None of that matters. What matters is you're living in like a, a protocol and a high performance mindset that just allows you to win. It allows you to crush. Tons of successful entrepreneurs have some sort of protocol. They live around it. I think it's very common with successful people. So before we get too intense with the whole idea of this God mode, the phrase, the, all the bullshit that comes with it, I want to be super clear. Adopt your own habits. You can name it whatever you want. You can copy my name. You can do whatever the fuck you want. This is just what I do for me to win. It's as simple as realizing like, hey, I want to get more out of my day. What can I do to allow that to happen? And that's what that's what God mode is. It's just a way to live for however long you want. It could be your whole life. It could be a day, a month, whatever the fuck you want. I definitely do think when you can do it consistently day by day, you kind of can get a flow and it's a lot easier to kind of keep it going and not let it get broken. Now, with that being said, let's dive into what my God mode is and just what you guys can do if you want to have kind of like a state of mind, a peak focus in which you just beat everyone. So the first thing with God mode for me is the name. Before I dive into anything, why I call it God mode. I think over the last few years, I've like learned a lot of different successful people's habits. The reason I call it God mode is because from all these protocols I saw online, for me, that's just what stuck. It's what sounded good to me. I didn't see it anywhere. It was more so just the idea of like wanting to win. And I even have like a very of it that I call purge mode, which is where not only do I go in this hyper focus mode, but I also literally try to live like I'm making like 5k a month, like on a core spending basis. Like I won't go to dinners. I'll literally act like I'm just dead broke while stacking tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars that month in profit. And I do that as like my hyper, hyper focus state. But for the most time, I don't mix in the purge mode aspect of it. I just call it God mode. And that's when I'm still living my normal ish life. I'm outside of my work hours, but the whole point of God mode is to reach hyper focus. So the first thing for me is self isolation. When Whenever I'm like hyper focused and one weird thing about me that I'm super open about is I like being alone. Leaving high school, like all the like flashiness I've put around it and like, you know, talking about it in a positive manner, it like kind of fucked me up. It made me feel like alone. I was super alone for a few years, so it got me very okay with being alone. I was never like sad or like super depressed. I definitely had my moments as everyone does, but it got me super cool with being alone and it actually made me like prefer being alone. I don't work really well around people. It's just a habit about me and hence that's being the first thing. I like to self isolate. Other people, as much as everyone says, they are great. I love my friends. I love my family. But the fact is, is everyone that's around you just has their own ulterior motive. They have their world. You have your world, but it's very hard for two trains to kind of be in like, like common synergy and like kind of going on the same track, if that makes sense. In my eyes, everyone kind of has their own path and being friends with someone is great. But the fact is, is you know, they have their life, their goal, their journey, and you're just a part of theirs in their brain. And the same thing from them to you, you know, so I like being alone. But other than that, no dinners, no friends friendly hangouts. I won't even really like do FaceTimes and calls, but that's a separate story of kind of being focused in a day. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just alone and very focused on myself. Now, the second thing is your phone. And that is like part of the whole no FaceTime, no calls. Another, this is like my God mode-ish phone. This is a phone I've just been using pretty much for nothing but music. But yeah, I mean, phone, your phone sucks. And it's funny because we all love our phone. Like it's so normalized in society, but you realize like this phone thing is like the most toxic and malicious device ever. Because although it does have have its positives for sure like there's a lot of good thank fuck phones are existing like life would be very annoying without them you realize to an entrepreneur who's trying to do well his day they're super detrimental like they're just they're just distracting you taking away from your productivity i'd say 90 percent of the time i'm on my phone i'm doing something fucking unproductive so for me i literally just don't use my phone in the day i already have it right now thankfully that like i don't get notifications i literally turn them all off the point is your phone is a toxic device that's kind of built to distract you every app's built to distract you and taking it out of your life is like crucial I recommend you either turn it off airplane mode. I like to put it in a pot sometimes, but that's like really a huge fundamental It's getting the fuck rid of your phone and any devices that can distract you because anyone having access to you any time of the day is like very bad because again, you have to understand they have their world. You have yours. So like you, you might be going, oh, like hyper focused, fucking typing away, doing whatever the fuck you're doing. Then you get a FaceTime call. What's happening? Your brain was just operating. You're a fucking Ferrari. I hope you guys all view yourselves as Ferraris and Bugattis. You're a fucking Bugatti Chiron going 300 miles an hour and then boom, 
You just got fucking, you got hit by a train. You got hit by a train. You got abruptly stopped because someone needs you for fucking some random ass question that a lot of the times has no time urgency. And again, there's always positivity behind this. You know, no one's trying to be malicious. Even like, I love my mom to death. I'm going to use her as an example here. As I know, if she watches this, she won't care. Even fucking your mom calling you. Like, yes, make time to speak to your mom. But dude, if it's 1 p.m. and you're like in between meetings, you have two hours open that you're finally getting some deep work done. And like 30 minutes into your deep work session, you get a fucking FaceTime from your mom. You're fucked. You just got thrown off the freeway. Now you might be fine. You can recover from it. You ain't going to die. And now you got to not only pick up speed again, but a lot of times what's being said on that is so not urgent. That's my thing. I'm like a big believer. You need to be clear, man. If you have notifications popping up to your computer, you are so fucked. Like if someone texts you while you're working and looking at your computer and you just go, you guys see my eyes move there? You go, your eyes move and you see that notification. Like, dude, you're fucked. I look at that as see your arm and all these fucking veins. I look at that as you have a knife and you just slit your fucking vein. You're killing yourself. You're, you're literally killing your productivity. So keep that in mind. I hope that was fucking gruesome analogies made sense. Number three, meditation. The idea of meditation and taking time to think about nothing. It's really crucial, especially as you start living a more chaotic life. As you make more money and scale your businesses, no matter what world you're in, you're probably going to feel some sort of stress or overwhelming feelings. Everyone's different. But for me, one thing that really helps me is just meditating. I pretty much do it every day. I'd say five, six days a week. When I don't do it, I'll normally like be mad at myself for not doing it. But meditating, I heard from Sam Ovens too, a really good way of putting it. It's just the idea of thinking about nothing. Literally, all you should be thinking about is your breath. And if you focus in and center on your breath and just like breathing in and breathing out, you can't really think about anything else. And as you do, your mind's going to wander. You just got to bring it back. The way I think about it is I'm literally like looking at a pole, breathing in. And like as I wander and think of something else, I like, I like bring my eyesight back to the pole. And I'm just like really trying to stay focused on nothing. <laughs> and the idea of meditation, I'm not even going to try to explain in this video because for anyone who isn't already sold on it, I can't explain it in anything under 10 minutes, but it'll help the rest of your day be more clear. Number four is a really good schedule and really good time optimization. This is honestly something I have like in my life at this point. I think whether I'm on like a super demonic fucking purge mode where I'm like fully, fully focused or just on some basic shit, like where I'm just like trying to be like, you know, focused. I'm on God mode, whatever the case may be. Forget the fucking words. This is just a habit I have in life that like is a must have if you want to be hyper optimized. The idea of God mode and like a really good schedule, they go hand in hand because all of this shit, all that we're talking about, it's really hard to stay stuck to unless you have a good schedule cadence that you follow. I'll have to literally take a photo because it's like hard to see if I don't. Like this is my setup, right? So like, here's me. I'm looking at, uh, I guess you guys can't see the camera, but I'm looking there, right? And then to the right of my monitor, I have literally a monitor right here. That's just my schedule. You guys like kind of see it. You kind of don't because I have, I have some shit open one of the fucking meetings from today, but that's like literally my schedule. And like, you could even see all the shit. Like this is, this is my sleep and then like all my like little tasks. A schedule is great. Like if you don't use a schedule, it's another example. You're fucking slitting your wrist. You're killing yourself. Um, it's just an easy way to win. And yeah, I'm not going to dive into it too deep when it comes to the specific things in your life you're doing. Everyone's on their own path. So you can dive deeper into God mode. You can figure out what the fuck you want to add to it. I have like other micro shit that I, that I have inside of my life. And I dive into my mentorship program. Like any beginner drop shipper, they need to have like certain things in their life. I dive into this whole video really a lot deeper, but this is like a surface level entry to it. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. See you guys in the next one. Peace the fuck out.